Hey YouTubers, just want to give you a quick update. Uh, the MAME for iOS app that is available in Cydia, if you have a jailbroken iPhone or iPad, was recently updated to allow you to um, play your arcade games through a PlayStation 3 controller on your iPad or your iPhone or whatever. So uh, it's very useful, it works really well, and I'll just show you how to set it up really quick. Um, if you're using a Mac like I am, you just have to download this uh, app called Six Pair Mac. Uh, it's a small file, it's free to download, and all you have to do is plug in your um, your iDevice. So I got my iPad in one USB and the uh, PS3 controller in the other USB. And once both of them are connected, all you got to do is click uh, pair controller to iPad and controller paired to iPad enjoy. So all it does is take the uh, Bluetooth address that's in the controller and it stores it inside of the Mac and creates like a handshake kind of like the uh, PS3 does when you hook it up the first time so it knows which device to use. So in order to actually play the games with the controller you just open up the app and then uh, if you go in the top right here where it says options it's kind of grayed out but if you touch options it will bring up this menu and you'll see there in the middle you can either pair a Wiimote or a 6 access controller. So we're going to touch that it's going to ask, ask us if we want to activate Bluetooth stack, so we press yes, and it's going to be activating Bluetooth stack, and then you got to press there to find a device. So at this time, I press the uh, PlayStation button in the middle here, wait for all four lights to blink, and then I'm going to press the uh, find device button up here. It's got the uh, address there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, press the PS or 6 access button. We did that. And now it says connected. PlayStation 1, 6 access, or player 1, 6 access. So as you can see, the light is steady now and it will be paired to the game. So once you're done with that, you just click done. And one of the neat things I discovered with this too is that the uh, you can now use the uh, controller here, but you can also use the analog. Oops, sorry about that. You can also use the analog nubs on the. Uh, the iPad to control the uh, the menu and whatnot. But what I wanted to show you was this. Uh, if you go down to uh, oops, let's see here. Kind of goes goofy at first. For some reason, if the analog stick gets moved, it gets confused where it's at. So um, one of the games that uses two uh, joysticks would be Smash TV. So we press the uh, circle button here. It's going to boot up the game for us real quick. I have the uh, frames per second showing just to uh, see how the game is running. You can turn that off in the menu, of course, but this is on an iPad 2, so performance during the game seems to be about 95 to 98%, so it's uh, playable. All right, so now I got the game on. We'll add a coin with select. Bingo. Bingo. Um, start button starts the game like player one. Okay. And once you start the game here, sorry, I got a horrible reflection here. Um, now you can use both uh, analog sticks here, just like the game was intended. I'm trying to do this with one hand here while filming, but as you can see, the uh, you can use the analog sticks to control the uh, character and the gun, just like it was supposed to be in the arcade game, and it's doing it all through a PS3 controller. Um, there's no lag or anything on it. It works really well. I haven't had any issues so far. I played some Metal Slug last night, and uh, it's been working like a champ. So um, The other nice thing is, too, if you have an HDMI cable or an uh, Apple TV, you can airplay this out to your, uh, your television and uh, have all the arcade games you want on your big TV with, uh, with the PS3 controller. So it works, works awesome. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave me a uh, message in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.